In this work, we are interested in defining a visual similarity between images across different domains, such as photos taken in different seasons, paintings, or sketches. What makes this challenging is that the visual content appears quite dissimilar on the raw pixel level. For example, for this painting, we want to find top matches from a large data set. These are the top matches that a computer returns using a standard algorithm. As you can see, the computer focuses on the gradients in the sky and ground, which occupy most of the image. But, for a human observer, the gradients in the path and temple, the unique objects in this scene, are more important than the sky. However, it is very difficult for the computer to make this reasoning to find good matches. Using recent work in the object recognition community, we train a discriminative classifier to separate our image against a large number of negative examples. We treat this learnt separating boundary as our similarity metric for the given query. This learnt boundary can be treated as reweighting the parts of an image based on which are more unique or more important to a human observer. By using our learnt similarity metric, we give higher weights to the informative parts like the temple and get better matches. Here we show some of the results from our paper. Matching sketches to images is a difficult cross-domain task. We find these top matches using images from the entire Pascal VOC dataset. Another challenging cross-domain task is to match paintings to images. Our algorithm shows robustness to gradients due to brush strokes. We also compare our results with Google's recently launched Search by Image feature. Google's algorithm shows a reasonable performance in retrieving results very similar to landmark images. However, it does not seem to adapt well to images from different visual domains, like sketches. To do re-photography, we want to use the internet to find modern images of the place shown in a given historical photograph. We pick the top match and manually generate an old new montage. Given a painting and the city it belongs to, we find matching images from Flickr. Using geotags of matches, we can estimate from which place the artist might have drawn the painting. We can look at the top matches and use Google Earth to see the street view of the estimated location. Having a robust visual similarity results in interesting ways of exploring and reasoning about large amounts of visual data. We can go to Flickr, download a set of 500 images using a keyword, and build a visual memics graph over all these images. We can browse nearest neighbors of an image, all aligned to the query image. Given two images, we can also find a shortest path between them in the graph. Also, starting from a query image, we can traverse the visual memics graph. 